hyperlinks in html while browsing the internet you would have observed that clicking on some underlined text takes you to another page or to a different location on the same page this is possible with the help of hyperlinks often just called links when you hover the cursor over a link it turns into a little hand indicating that it is a hyperlink in html we specify hyperlinks using the anchor a tag the general form of anchor tag for hyperlinking is anchor href is equal to url linked text slash anchor here the linked text does not have to be only text it can also be an image or any other html element html links href attribute the href attribute specifies where the link points or the destination of the link for example a href is equal to http colon slash slash www.google.com slash click to google search slash a this will be displayed as colored underlined text which will take the user to google search website on clicking this is called external linking html link display html links target attribute the target attribute specifies the target of the link this means either the linked page or document will open up in the same browser window or in a new window by default all links open up in the same browser window in the following example the google search link will open up in a new window a href is equal to http colon slash slash www.google.com slash target is equal to underscore blank click to google search slash a html links name attribute this attribute is used to create a bookmark inside an html page this facilitates linking to a different location on the same page these bookmarks are not displayed by the browser and are invisible bookmarks provide easy navigation in a long page without having to scroll up and down they make a long web page more user friendly wikipedia pages are a good example of using bookmarks in a web page this type of linking is called internal linking example of a name attribute a name is equal to remember things to remember slash a to create a link to the bookmark remember we will write these in the same html page or document notice the use of hash a h e r f is equal to slash remember hash remember go to things to remember slash a let us consider another example of a web page that lists reviews of bollywood films a name is equal to top of page h2 bollywood film reviews slash h2 slash a a h r e f is equal to hash 2011 films released in 2011 slash p slash a a h r e f is equal to hash 2010 p films released in 2010 slash p slash a a h r e f is equal to hash 2009 p films released in 2009 Slash p slash a p tag. This paragraph contains some information about the film critics and their backgrounds. Slash p. A name is equal to 2011 h3 films released in 2011 slash h3 slash h a. HTML listing reviews of the film of 2011. HTML listing reviews of the film of 2011 HTML listing reviews of the film 2011 AHREF is equal to hash top of page go to top slash a a name is equal to 2010 h3 films released in 2010 slash h3 slash a HTML listing reviews of films of 2010 HTML listing reviews of film of 2010 HTML listing reviews of film of 2010 AHREF 
is equal to hash top of page go to top slash a a name is equal to 2009 h3 films released in 2009 slash h3 slash a html listing reviews of film of 2009 html listing reviews of film of 2009 html listing reviews of film of 2009 ahraf is equal to hash top of page go to top slash a as these are many films released each year if one lists them all on a web page it will be a very long list to allow the user to search a film review one can group them by year and bookmark the start of each year on the web page a kind of table of contents at the beginning of the web page to link to the bookmarks below can be created a user can now click on these links and directly go to the relevant year of films and does not have to scroll and find the right information there is also a bookmark top of page after each section a link to this bookmark is provided so the user can go directly to the top of the page without having to scroll up hence the page becomes much more user friendly html web page display insert images in html everyone has heard of saying a picture is worth a thousand words most web pages today display images in the form of logos photographs graphs or charts etc to insert images in html we use img tag img is an empty tag in the sense that it only has attributes and no closing tag the general form of the image tag is img src is equal to file location or link alt is equal to image description width is equal to numeric underscore width in pixels height is equal to numeric underscore height in pixels align is equal to left slash right slash center slash attributes of image tag attribute description src this specifies the source of the image file it may be a location of a file on the web server or it may be a url pointing to an image on the web this is the mandatory attribute alt this specifies the alternate text used by the screen reader software it is also displayed when the image fails to load it is a good practice to specify a brief description of the image here so that the viewer may know what one is facing width this specifies the width of the image in pixels height this specifies the height of the image in pixels align this specifies the alignment of the image on the web page these html shows an example of use of images on a web page html body h2 books are best friends slash h2 img border is equal to 0 src is equal to f colon slash images slash books dot jpg alt is equal to picture of books width is equal to 304 height is equal to 228 a line is equal to right slash p books are said to be a person's best companion they can be one's friend philosopher and guide slash p slash body slash html the above code will be displayed in the browser like this web page with image of books